So I guess you're saying how human atrocities, um, you feel like need your focus more than perhaps what happens to animals? What we really need to do, we really need to go back to our nature, to our natural habitat, okay? So we need to go back and somewhere, somehow restart, somewhere, somehow Instead of using the technology the way we are using it, I think we should think of how to use the technology in a different way. I agree, and I think that's why we're here tonight, is because we want to restart. So what you're seeing here is 98% of the supply in the UK? What's going on in the world is really horrific. What's going on in a place like Yemen, for example? Mm -hmm. do, you have, do you have any idea? I think there's a lot going around on the world, and the question in is, Yemen, where can we make the most impact? What's happening on the other side of the world? Do you think we can change that? Us, the three of us sitting here right now. No. You Do you think we can change, change what we eat? You need to change yourself. You cannot I change agree. anybody else. Okay. And that's why we're here, because we think that... Have you changed yourself? I have. I, four years ago I went vegan, and now I don't contribute to what you're seeing on the screen okay. here. Four years ago you went lunatic. Okay. So, so why do you feel because like veganism is lunacy? Because it's another form of extreme. <laughs> it's extremist idea. I know. We are not made like this. Our body is not made. So do you think we can thrive without eating animals? To be perfectly honest with you, I really don't know. I grew up in a place where we eat animals. I eat animals every six months to keep my balance. Some kind of meat, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. But this cycle of forced it, it, it really, it really. I mean, you can eat anything now. And you can, and if, you, if, you, if you are aware of what you eat, yes. if you know what you eat, very important. But it's very important to keep a balance with your body. Do you feel like there's specific nutrients we need from um, eating animals or what comes from them that we wouldn't get from plants? So which nutrients do you think we need to get from animals? The same nutrients that the animals take from the ground as we eat That's them, a great and then we kind of take them in a different shape, in a different way kind of thing. That's a great point. So do you think it's more efficient to filter the nutrients from the ground through an animal and then eat the animal, or to eat the plants directly? I think if you go back 200 years ago, 300 years ago, people lived, lived much healthier. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. They did not live longer as well. They did, they did not live the same kind of life, but they have actually lived a healthier life. Uh -huh. And they have lived a natural life uh -huh. before. Uh -huh. Now we are not. Now we cannot live at home. We cannot live a normal life. So, <coughs> so I guess when, when you think that, when you're saying that you need certain things from animals, I guess I'm, uh, is there like a specific like uh, a nutrient you feel like you would be lacking? That you get that the animals get from the ground. I don't really know. Yeah, I do um, not really know. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean. You have the cow; it goes out and eats the uh, grass. Uh huh. And that's all that it eats. Uh huh. And from the grass, we have in the milk. Uh huh. In the milk, we have the cheese and blah 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 blah. Uh -huh. and the rest of it, and then we have the meat. Uh huh. Okay. This is processed grass. Uh -huh. have, okay. Yeah. Now, if we are going to eat the same grass, we will not be able. Yeah, to have the same substance as whatever it is, yeah. you know, meat or whatever it is. I, I agree, and I would never advocate if, for eating grass. If, <laughs> if, if you happen to be, if you happen to be, let's say, in a desert or in, 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 in a mountains or in, in, in some place uh, for one, two, three, four days, uh -huh. and you have no food, there is no vegetation, there is nothing else, and all of a sudden there is a rabbit. What will you do? The hypotheticals, I think, are interesting from a philosophical perspective. It's not philosophical. You are hungry, you are starving, you are about to die. In Brighton? No. I think in, that's quite in, unlikely. In, <laughs> I, said, I don't think you heard me. I said, in a desert. Yeah, sure. All right. So, so let's, let's, we, get, we, can, we can ponder that if you'd like. So, um, what, what do you think the rabbit would eat in that situation? The rabbit's got to survive somehow too, right? The rabbit will eat the bushes and the... And the have you been to the, to the, to the desert? <sighs> I've ridden my bike through Death Valley. Are you familiar with Death Valley? The desert is full of vegetation. And yeah. the rabbit is a something wrong I used for the desert. I will use the fox instead. <laughs> okay? Will you eat the yeah. fox? 
I would still ask, what's the fox eating, and where does it get, it get well, its nutrients? The fox will eat rats, uh, mosquitoes, uh, ants, whatever it is running in the, in the forest. Uh -huh. It's eating another animal or another insect or whatever it is. I think it'd be a pretty rare circumstance where there's no plant or vegetation There is no such a place. The there is no such a place with, with no plants or vegetation. It doesn't yeah. exist. So my perspective is why eat the things that can suffer when you can eat the things that don't suffer. It's, it's really, it's really, I think we are talking, we are talking about, I think we're talking of empty kind of, I don't know what. So let's go back and to... And I am not, I'm kind of, I'm, I lost my track with my brain. No, that's okay, that's okay, I, that's okay. That, that's where the, the philosophical stuff can do that. I think that's what's cool about it. Um, so going back to, um, how do you feel about what's happening on the screens here and animal cruelty in general? I don't feel anything, really. Yeah? No. So if... I, really, I feel sorry for the men and women who's doing it. I don't feel anything... In the slaughterhouse? But, yeah. Well... I am not. I am not seeing. I am not seeing a dog being kicked. I am seeing a man kicking a dog. Okay. I am seeing a vicious act, uh -huh. and that's nothing to do with the rabbit or whatever it is here. Uh, I think it was a pig. Well, the pig. It's not. It's the person who's doing it. It's the person who is responsible. It's the human who is responsible. Do you think when we buy these products that no, we're it's supporting these you, industries? It's not when you buy these products. I would like you to go and meet this man now, there. Uh -huh. Go and see this man. Uh -huh. Meet him. And he will have completely different way of thinking or link. Yeah, I think there's a lot of drug and alcohol abuse in these industries. It's for not, it's just not a reason. question of drug or alcohol abuse. This man is abusing this animal, and before he abused this animal, he might have abused his wife, his son, his daughter, his neighbor, some somebody point. else around. Right? Yeah. You cannot point. abuse an animal like this if you do not abuse a human. You can't. So do you think, so, I mean, these are pigs here, so do you think if you um, go buy um, uh, bacon or pork or any of those things? I don't. Yeah, so, so maybe, that, so, so what? I don't. Um, so like chicken or what? I what, don't. Do you eat any animals? I eat eat fish. Uh-huh. Now and then I eat chicken. Uh-huh. And what about like kind of dairy? Um, dairy? Dairy like milk or cheese or eggs? I or... do. So do you think that when you um, buy milk or eggs yes. um, and, 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 and giving an uh, organization money that you're voting with your dollars? No, I'm not voting with my dollars. I'm not voting with anything. I know what's happening. Okay. Yeah. And I know that once upon a time, I used to go out, milk the when the goat or the sheep, mumps, the uh -huh. take it the milk in and make the yogurt and make the cheese and make whatever it is after that. I know how it's made. I used to, I grew up in in uh -huh. this using this process. Now I go to the supermarket and I buy milk. Yeah, that's a great point because I think that's a big uh, part of why we're here is there's a massive disconnect between what you're seeing here and what happens um, uh, elsewhere. It's not happening elsewhere. It's happening everywhere. Yeah. So, so I guess uh, talking about because it's down, we're talking about milk. Um, how do you feel about what happens to the male offspring and the um, male the, offspring? Yeah. So the baby cows, um, the, the males. Yes. Um, because they're no use to the These industry. We put them in a dark room. We torture them and we sell them special meat. What do you call it? Um, oftentimes veal. Um, yes. And because there's so many of them, oftentimes they're killed within the first day so of their we life. We sell them as a veal with a very expensive price after we torture them. Yeah. And the customers is, are very, very happy and everybody eats this stuff. Do you know that this is you, what's happening? Exactly. It's, it's questioning, isn't it? Yeah. Well, do, do you think this, this would exist if there weren't people giving money to the industry? Yes. So you think that the, the, the um, slaughterhouses would still um, run even if there's no demand? We are the slaughterhouses. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm trying to say, I guess, that we we're all part of the system when we contribute to it. There is no system. We are the system. We are. Mm -hmm. I am the system because I go and buy the milk from the forever it is yeah. and buy the cheese from it. And you are the system because you do exactly the same thing. I'm vegan, so I don't buy milk that supports these industries. And I guess that's kind of what I'm getting to. I am afraid I stand there and I talk to my flowers and my plants sometimes. And they're really lovely. And they go, yeah... You're eating them. <laughs> so, 
Do you, do you think um, plants have a central nervous system? With the aim to render the animals unconscious. So, um, what makes you think that? Well, sit down with a plant and just give it the time and find out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'll, I'll, I'll give you another one. I'll give you another one. So if, let's let's imagine. So you've got um, a, a strawberry you, bush. You honestly believe that that tree has been growing up for the last what 20, 30, 40, 50 years? Doesn't have any plans, any feelings, any thoughts, any. So if you were to go to a strawberry bush and pick a strawberry, yes. or you were to take one of these pigs... And, I don't and, take and, one of these pigs. Well, what you're seeing here... I wouldn't take it out. I wouldn't have anything to do with that. I mean, the, the same... Strawberries, the, yes. What, I will go and pick a strawberry. What about the male cow... What about the male babies in the dairy industry that are I killed? I don't know anything about them. Those, those, the male that they are selling to the rich people. Most of them are killed within their first day of life because there's so many of them, and that's to fund the yes, um, dairy I industry. See, I have seen exactly the same situation with chicken, and I have seen yeah, how they yeah, choose the how eggs. they choose the chicks. Yes, certain yeah. chicks for this, certain chicks for that, and it then sounds you like you're very well researched and on you, it. Yeah, and you and you look, and there's trillions of chicks just me being made. Oh, by the way, that's a fish food. Mm. Yeah, yeah, oh, it doesn't surprise me. And oftentimes, I think just chucked out. So we are there's, farming fish. You know? Yeah. Yes. So, so it sounds like a, a fish is a very a small but still part of what you eat. You're saying? Yes. But cows and fish is fish, and fish is not. Only okay. We don't have children. Okay. What I really believe is we have absolutely nothing natural anymore as it used to be. Nothing. Mm. Nothing. Is that, would you consider these screens natural? What's happening there? These screens are very natural. This is happening just around the corner from here. I guess. I guess when I say natural, I mean, you know, like you're talking about going back to nature. I certainly wouldn't look at these screens and think that that's. Well, have you ever been to a farm? Um, I have. Have you lived in a farm? Uh, my mom, um, her parents um, had a farm in Iowa, so I visited there when I was young. A farm life is not really a kind of. Uh, what happened to my phone? Uh, your recorder's there. Oh, yeah, sorry. That one, yeah. A farm life is not really a clean one. It's not really a straightforward one. Farm it's life very is hard, hard work. Okay? It's not hard it's only in order as in hard work. It's also emotional. Emotion. You are dealing with animals. And animals have feeling exactly the same way. And you are struggling with those animals all the time in the farm. And sometimes you go and whack an animal just to make them quiet or keep them quiet to do something. That I have seen so many times. I've seen yeah. farmers do that. How does that make you feel? I really don't care. Yeah. I really don't care. So do you think an animal's life matters? You are an animal. Yeah, great point. Does your life matter? Just, yeah, I, I think it I, think I take, does. I take, I take life, I start life from you. And then I go and I see what you do. Mm -hmm. And I see how do you live. Okay, fine. You choose to do it this way and choose to do that way and whatever it is. But that's not the solution. What's not the solution? The solution is not the to run away and just become a vegan, for example. When do you feel like veganism is running away? Yes. Running away from, from the reality of what's really going on. Do you think if we were running away from the reality, we'd be here with screens tonight? No, if let, I, me, let me give you some information. It's been really nice chatting with you. It makes me feel really good to help others. And um, I think... I don't believe in helping others. I believe in helping me. I think you have Once to do that I first, and I think a great way to do that is um, uh, to, by being vegan, you save between two and 400 animals a life, lives a year, and I think you can still do that and still um, speak out against other issues, and I think they, they, act, they, they are much more aligned I than they are like, different. I don't like your extremist line. What's the extremist line? Vegan. Yeah, vegan is the, the word itself. Line. Okay. I am living in Brighton. Brighton meant to be one of the vegan places. 
places in, in, in England kind of there's lots of vegan in Brighton and I have lots of friends who are doing vegan whatever it is whatever uh-huh. it is and they make me disgusted do you have do you, how are your interactions with them do you have good chats with them or not really yeah they're lunatics I think I think uh, I think when people get very passionate about a topic which I, it sounds like you are too about other topics um, it's really hard to contain that passion um, I know for me at first this was the case but you can be passionate but you cannot force me yeah I, and not, you cannot yeah. attack me and you cannot have a go at me because I am eating this drinking this or doing this you can't you have no right to do that and hopefully you do whatever you like do you, feel- you have no right to stand there and prevent me from doing what I want. I, it doesn't bother you, it's not gonna hurt you. If I'm gonna get drink a glass of milk. Yeah. Um, I, I, lived, I lived with vegans where I used to have some products that they don't eat. And I used to hide them away, keep them completely separate. <laughs> Just out of respect. And then... Uh, and then one day, one one of them discovered that I had these things, and they did have a go at me, and I just went completely off my head. And I, and I said, I was here, I am here every day trying to respect whatever it is, but you are trying to force me. I'm doing this out of respect, but now you are forcing me. You can fuck off. And I hope you cannot force me. You cannot tell me what's good for me and what's bad for me. You choose your way. I choose my way. And I hope you feel like we've had an open exchange. I certainly would never want to force my views on people. I think the truth speaks for itself. My whole goal is to help people talk about it and come to their own conclusions. I think, I think to be perfectly honest with you, as somebody who comes from America, I think you're wasting your time in this subject because there's far more interesting things. I, I guess now. when I sit down to a meal three times a day, I can, I can stop contributing to this. It's very difficult for me to stop contributing to what's happening in Mexico. You don't have to, you don't have, you don't have to stop contributing to this or to that. But you cannot really pay our attention to this and forget about what's really happening in the Amazons, for example, where they're actually destroying, destroying, where they are destroying the whole forest so they can make cows. Did you know that 91% of the Amazon rainforests are cleared for um, no, meat production? Last time I was holding up live. I've, I've, <laughs> they're, gone, they're gone underground now. I, would, I think you would really like this documentary called Cowspiracy. It's all about what's happening all around the world. I think I've seen something like this earlier. Do you think that if we could stop this, that humans would treat each other better too? So I guess, th- so we're more aligned than I think we're, we're saying. Yeah, but you it. cannot stop this before stopping humans from treating each other. It's, there's no way. I stop this every time I eat. Yeah, I can, it's very difficult to stop the other yes, things. but your neighbor is a soldier. He will go and do whatever it is, the same thing to humans somewhere else, no? Well, there's one thing I control, there's one thing I can't control, so... Well... <laughs> But you will not dare have a conversation with with, with, with with your neighbor about how dare you went to Iraq and like this. He's a veteran. You cannot attack a veteran. You cannot attack a soldier in America because he's serving the country. And, and we're all about creating a world of compassion. And no, I think no, 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 our, our two no, no. worlds are, are not mixing, too dissimilar. You're really mixing things. You are really going the other way around. You want me to go that way and I want you to go that way. Um, I, want, I think we can do both. Yes, but you cannot... You cannot get to that one before getting to this one. <laughs> so how would you propose I get more involved and stop some of the things you're talking about? We stop doing whatever it is to each other as humans. We stop caring about each other as humans. Yeah. We stop uh, looking after each other as humans first. And then you will find us automatically looking after animals, looking after plants, looking after everything. It really, it's just, okay, it, if you think of it, all of it really connects somewhere, somehow. All of it. Yeah, but I don't, but I don't. All of it, it really. But it all starts from us. All starts from us. Yeah, I agree. Okay. Yeah, let's, I'm, I'm on board with that. Yes, sir. Jeremy. Jeremy. I'll keep an eye out for you here on Saturdays. We can have a chat on the other side. So you're voting for <laughs> Corbyn then, huh? Um, I can't vote. I'm, I've only been in the UK uh, two years, so... Enjoy your stay. Sounds good. We'll create a better world together. How's that sound? Wishful thinking. <laughs> <laughs> it, like you said, it starts in here and up here. Mm. Okay, that's okay. So that was the interview. 
In my opinion, they were in the contemplation phase, meaning they've considered some of the issues around animal agriculture, but don't necessarily um, see a reason to act. So I focused on reiterating the ethical considerations. Um, if you think the chat was effective, let me know in the comments below. Um, if there's some strategies you uh, think that were particularly effective, um, let me know that too, and maybe some things that I could work on. So really appreciate any feedback you have. Do you want to miss out on the next video? I didn't think so. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. See you next time. <laughs> you, come, you come prepared. That's awesome. That's awesome. That's awesome. I'll let you get that started. I think we actually have the same one. I think.